out. Try to make this part two. But it's like this person knew. This person, the, the plan was to keep this person from coming in union with you. Four of wands and two of wands. They knew that this person would, once they came in union with you, they would have victory. Four plus two equals ten. So they figured they would try to separate you and this person. They didn't know that as they're separating you and this person, that person would be at a two of wands stalemate, not knowing which way to go around them. And you were already at the four of wands in union with yourself. And that's why this person's energy keep coming up as your divine counterpart feeling left out in the cold. They're not in union with their soul and spirit because they're around this person that was playing with spell work. And that's why they feel stuck and their emotions are all over the place. And this energy knew that. Yeah, King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This energy knew that. They knew that they would keep this person out in the cold. They figured if they keep this person out in the cold, they wouldn't know the knowledge. They didn't know as this person was vibing low. In a five of pentacles energy out in the cold, they wouldn't be able to manifest anything. It's like they went from the five of pentacles trying to have this person out in the cold on the knowledge to the four of pentacles. Being stingy with time, money, energy, trying to hold on to everything that they got. Yeah. This is sad. <laughs> Three of Pentacles, five brown. <laughs> Two of Pentacles, wow. It's like this person is juggling between thoughts and finance, trying to figure this out at this point. Going back and forth in their head, trying to figure out where did they go wrong. Wow. They thought they had made a good decision, but they didn't know they were being tricked. They didn't know it was a tactic to have them at the Eight of Swords stuck. And this person, this was this person's decision. Three of Wands and Eight of Swords. To have that person stuck to them. They placed some type of binding spell on that person. And if they try to... <laughs> it's like, if people play with these binding spells, they don't know that they're in spiritual jail. And it's like, that person could have, you know, they could be facing some type of time at the Eight of Swords. Because of that person, Eight of Swords and the Hangman. So they could have gotten wrapped up in some situation and they're getting ready to go to jail or they went to jail. And it's like, as they're at the Four of Pentacles, they're trying to pay out everything that they got to get out of this situation. Instead of walking away from this person, they chose to stay stuck to this energy that kept everything kept backfiring. Because this person did something to bind this person to them. And as they stayed attached to them, they were feeling stuck. They were constantly being caught up in situations and they didn't understand why. They were constantly having to pay out, pay out and give and give and give and give. The Six of Pentacles also talks about a debt that needs to be paid. So this Six of Pentacles and then the hangman is here. They were in some type of situation that they constantly have to pay out and pay out and pay out and pay out and pay out. And, pay out. and they didn't understand it because this person had to place the binding spell on them and their, their um, karma is backfiring onto them, this King of Cups. And it's like they didn't expect to be from, you know, from the King of Pentacles to this Four of Pentacles energy. Now they're at the Two of Pentacles trying to figure this out. Like, where did they go wrong? They didn't know they were attached to a person that was um, playing with spell work and everything was backfiring. Yeah, the star card is here. This happened so this person could heal. This person needed to go through this. It's like... They're juggling between thoughts and finding trying to figure this out, but they need to heal is what I'm hearing. Yeah, five of pentacles is here. They feel left out in the cold. Yeah, they could have felt like they left you out in the cold and now they're feeling left out in the cold. Because this star card is you. You're someone that's a healer. You're someone that's spiritually awake. They look at you as someone that's their wish fulfillment. And this person only see you as wish fulfillment. It's like as this person was attached to this energy, all they could think about was you. Yeah. Whatever this person did that they were attached to, it came back on them and people that they're attached to. They feel left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles is here. Nine of Cups is here. Yeah, they feel like the person that they were watching as wish fulfillment, the person that makes them happy, they left them out in the cold. Yeah, the moon card is here. And this is a secret. This is stuff that they're trying to keep hidden. They don't want people to know this. But it's like people already know this. It was 
people helping this person keep this person's stuff, they didn't know it was hidden. So it's like, they're, this King of Cups, they're very intuitive. That's why the moon is here. They keep a lot of stuff secret, a lot of stuff hidden. Because they are like a psychic. This moon card also talks about psychic abilities. So it was a lot of stuff that was done in secret to this person. It was a lot of stuff that they were hidden. They're, they were hiding some deep emotions, King of Cups, the way they feel about you. But it's like, whoever was keeping stuff hidden from them, they knew. That's why they did this. They knew that this person was your twin. The plan was to have this person at a two of wands, and they sit back and watch you at the four of wands. <laughs> yeah, Tower is here. They're sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices for whatever they had done, you know, did. They're going through tower moments. This person needed to go or getting ready to go through a drastic change. Yeah, they went through a drastic change and they wanted to keep it hidden or something like that. Or this is something that's hidden to them. They're getting ready to experience some type of tower or something like that. Yeah, this is crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah. This person had defeated their self. Five of Swords is here. It's like when this person had them backstabbed you, because a lot of people feel like they got backstabbed by their divine counterpart. As you see this woman on this... uh five of swords you're someone that's very pure with this white dress on they backstabbed you as they were walking away with the other three swords they didn't know they would be breaking their own heart if you can see closely that that person is walking away with three swords you have him walking away with the three of swords and then two of swords they didn't know they would be walking away from you and then leaving their self heartbroken yeah they're in their head about this nine of swords is here they're stressed out they can't even sleep at night Yeah. Eight of Cups and then Seven of Swords. Yeah. Nine of Wands and Ten of Wands. It's like once this person walked away or you walked away from this person, Eight of Cups, this could be you on this Eight of Cups card. As this person has on a white dress as well. You knew hidden secrets. You knew this person was running into a Seven of Swords energy or was attached to a Seven of Swords energy. That's why you walked away. Yeah. Whoever this energy is, it's like, whoever this energy is, they were at the Seven of Swords over and over again, Nine of Wands. They did this over and over again to this person. So it's like whatever they did to you, it came back to them tenfold. And they're feeling way down pressure and burden. Yeah. It's like whatever this person, whatever this person, on the Seven of Swords cards, now that I'm looking at it, because I never paid attention to it before. I've had this deck for a long time and I didn't um, realize that all of the birds, the black birds that are on this car, they, they have all of the swords. It's like this person's at the seven of swords being very sneaky. All of the birds have the swords there. They only have two swords. That's it. And it's like as they have these two swords, the two of swords, they're blinded from the truth. They were too busy being at the Seven of Swords, and they only have two swords in their head, in their hand. And all of the other, you know, those black birds that surrounded them, they have all of the, the other five swords. Yeah, this is sad. They were trying to be sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes to try to keep this person blinded from the truth, and they were blinded from the truth. Yeah, five of ones is here. <laughs> They wanted to keep this person blinded to the fact that they were, you know, bringing a lot of chaos, drama, conflict. 
this person, I'm I'm constantly hearing this person placed a conflict spell between you and that person. So once this person had not ghosted you, they thought it worked. You and this person would be beefing or something like that. And it's like a whole bunch of chaos and conflict started happening in this King of Cups life and in that person life. I'm there at the center wand still and way down burden and pressure. Yeah, they want to keep this hidden. High Priestess is here. This person was trying to compete with you and you are a whole High Priestess. Wow. This person could have, you know, sat back and made it seem like they knew stuff about tarot and they could read energy and stuff like that. This is sad. This energy is just sad. Yeah, Three of Pentacles in the reverse. People don't even want to collaborate with this person no more. If they got behind the scenes to get readings from this person, it's no more. Emperor is here. Yeah, and it's three of pentacles. And this emperor, whoever this father figure is, this emperor, they're finding out a child is not theirs. Emperor and empress energy. Emperor, empress, three of pentacles in the reverse. Whatever this person thought they were building with this person or they thought they were adding on something, it's in the reverse. And they also, they want you and this person, emperor and empress, divine counterparts, to get together, collaborate, or build with each other. It's like this person just... <laughs> yeah, three of swords. They want this person to be at the three of swords, heartbroken, stressed out. They thought that this would break your heart? No. It's like you knew that this person, you walked away from this person because you knew this person was um, learning lessons. You knew this person was attached to a karmic energy. They didn't know. You could have tried to warn this person. So it was nothing that you could do, you know, about it. They, this person could have walked away thinking that you were just talking crazy. Um, this was true facts. They didn't know. Yeah, the food card is here and the hair fine is here. This person wants to take a leap of faith towards you. Because they look at you as someone that's very loyal, inspirational. You're someone, you're someone that have inspired this person on things that they didn't know. They didn't know anything about spirituality. That's why it was hard for them to believe that this karma was doing spell work over them and trying to have them stuck. Especially when you had not spoke the truth. There was a lot of people around them that possibly didn't know anything about spirituality. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles is here. Yeah, this person see you in your Ten of Pentacles. They see you creating generational wealth. And they realize they can't build anything without you. Yeah, this person found out, this person knew that, um, it's like this person could have been confused in the beginning, but then after a while, they started paying attention to different things and it made them angry. The more and more stuff that this person was doing, secretly trying to send chaos in your life, it was happening to them in this King of Cups, and that made them angry. They didn't understand why they were constantly needing to, you know, have, hold on to this and that and be stingy or constantly pay out and pay out and pay out. They didn't know that person was a financial curse. They didn't per know that person was binding and binding to the devil for a lot of bad karmic debt. So as the more and more they were with that karmic and then watching you, they realized that you and them are twins. Four ones here made them more and more want to be in union with you, be around you. They realized they were at a stalemate, four of wands, I mean, uh, two of wands, as they would see you at the four of wands, someone that's very stable, stability. Now they see you in this ten of pentacles, you're sitting there by yourself. As they're at the four of pentacles, trying to hold on to everything that they got, realizing that they're with a karmic. Somebody that you try to warn them about. Yeah, seven of pentacles in a reverse, a bad investment. They realized they made a bad investment and they weren't going to get anything back. Nothing back. I mean, normally in the upright, you know you had invested a lot and you're looking back on what you invested in. You realize you didn't get much. You didn't, you know, you were just going to get a lesson. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. This is a bad invest. They weren't going to get anything out of it. Yeah, Knight of Cups is here. Yeah, they want to connect with you. After going through their karma, it looks like. Going through a drastic change. Going through the dark night of the soul. Now the source is here. After they sat back and were around a lot of people. Or this karmic had a lot of people confused. And wanted them to think that you were crazy. For speaking the ill will truth. On stuff that they didn't know. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. 
This person wants to work with you. That's why they want to connect with you. Four of Swords is here. After laying a situation to rest and being in isolation and in solitude. Yeah, the Sun card is here. This person just want to be happy. This person had to been dealing with hell. Being attached to the devil. Four of Pentacles and then the devil is here. And they did not know. Yeah, Tempers is here. Yeah, they want peace. They want they're, they're trying to balance their self out as they're in solitude. Four of Swords is here. Yeah, they're trying to balance their self out and stay grounded. And they could have blocked different people and blocked this karmic after being betrayed. Ten of Swords. They don't even want to be around people anymore. It's like whatever you told this person, it was that they're 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 heartbroken because whatever you said to them was true. Whoever this energy is thought that they would really have you at the three of swords heartbroken because they were attached to this person. No. What would you be heartbroken for when you already knew this person was around somebody that was toxic and they needed to learn their lesson? You couldn't do nothing but sit in this temperance energy, this star energy, and continue to heal and pray for this person. And that's it. You hadn't already came in with the truth. No matter if they didn't believe you or not, you spoke truth and clarity, and that was it. This person needed to go through this ten of swords theirself to realize they were under a, you know, a ten of swords curse and hex with somebody that was toxic. That was trying to keep them at the eight of swords stuck, binding and blinding and tied up to the devil for that, says old. Eight of Wands is here. And then Ace of Swords is here. This person found out the truth um, through some type of message online. Somebody spoke truth and clarity or something, some type of uh, message. Or somebody could just came towards them quick like, hey, and told them the truth. They found out the truth through some type of message, an email, a text message, something online. This Eight of Wands talks about online. Or this could be like quick expose. Somebody, somebody exposed Ace of Swords clarity the truth to this King of Cups quick about this energy. And they possibly did not believe it. This could have been you who texted them or something, some type of email. Yeah, Four of Cups is here. They feel like they missed the opportunity. Wow. This is a Page of Pentacles is here. Yeah, they're looking at things different now. And Three of Cups is here. Yeah, they're looking at things a whole nother way now. And they want to reconcile with you, Three of Cups. Reconnect with you. Seven of Cups is here. And then King of Swords. King of Swords and Seven of Cups. This King of Swords, this could be a friend of theirs. As I see this Three of Cups and then King of Swords, somebody is confusing this person. Or they want this person to be confused. I'm also getting this person is detached from their emotions. Because they, they had got confused by a lot of people. Seven of Cups. Yeah, now they're in this King of Swords energy. And then Knight of Wands, yeah. This is sad. It's like this person had them been in this King of Cups energy for the wrong people. They should have been in this King of Cups energy for their self, loving their self, taking care of their self, and knowing their worth. They were in King of Cups energy for Knight of Wands energies. And that's what they got attached to. So it's like, that's why they feel stuck. Hangman, Eight of Swords as well. It's like, if they were attached to this person, they feel stuck. Now they're in the same energy as that person, needing to isolate, needing to heal. And they could be running around with multiple options, and they're running into Knight of Wands energy. This person is hurt. They went from the King of Cups to the King of Swords. Yeah, and they're hurting their self more instead of, yeah, instead of loving their self. They're sitting back in regret, grieving. And it's like instead of healing their self, they're taking it out on their self. They're punishing their self for 
making a bad decision. Yeah, this is sad. This person don't have no guidance. They're still thinking about events that took place in the past. They could be dealing with situations that took... This person could be dealing with issues like from their mother. They could have been abandoned as a child. They could have felt like they weren't loved as a child. And it's like now that they're an adult, they're taking it out on their self. This is not good. Yeah, they don't have any guidance. They don't have anybody around them to help them. This person possibly needs to go and see someone to talk to someone without other people knowing, like a psychiatrist or something like that. Because they're around a lot of people that's not helping them. And they feel like they can't talk to people. That's why they're in this King of Swords energy, detached from their emotions. They don't want to let people in, especially after they haven't gained the truth and clarity, Ace of Swords. They want to keep people confused. That's why they don't. I, that's another thing I'm getting with the Seven of Cups and King of Swords. They want to keep people confused. They don't want people to know that they, you know, have any type of emotions. They could want to keep people confused about how they feel about you. Yeah. Page of Swords is here. They're just sitting back watching Page of Swords. They could feel like people are watching them. Or somebody could be spying on them, constantly stalking them, watching their social media, and different stuff like that. Yeah, Six of Wands. <laughs> yeah, they're watching you online, Six of Wands. Page of Swords and Six of Wands. They're watching you, this person. Yeah, you could have some type of platform and they're watching you online. They see you in this musician energy, manifesting, being very creative, having creativity and foresight of your own future. And they're trying to, you know, they're sitting back trying to uh, keep a lot of people confused about how they feel towards you. Yeah, the lovers is here. But people know. And it's like that person don't know that these people know. That's why they did all of this to try to have this person stuck. King of Pentacles is here. And then Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person that's been watching you as yeah, you somebody else that's watching you. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, they could know this person is, is um attracted to you. Yeah, judgment is here. They know this. And they're trying to act like they don't have any emotions for you. They're trying to confuse people. Yeah, the strength card is here. So it's like they know somebody that's attracted to you and yeah, they trying to act like they don't have no feelings for you. They're not attracted to you. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles as soon as I cut the deck. Yeah. This person is trying to gain their strength or they're trying to... <laughs> they're <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting that this person is trying to gain their strength with the strength card being... <laughs> But this person is trying to stay strong. They don't want people to know how they feel about you. They do not. So it's like they know somebody else is interested. Or maybe they just know you have a um, a soulmate, a higher level soulmate or something coming in that's attracted to you. Yeah. And that's why they're trying to hide the way they feel about you. Yeah, Queen of, Queen of Cups is here. This person is in love with you, Queen of Cups. But they don't want whoever, you know, different people around them to know. Wow. You got Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups. They look at you as their ultimate happiness. This person is in love with you and they love you unconditionally. 